just a quickie. This is MB09 2018. It's Thursday the 4th of October, same year, hashtag Curry Thursday time. Oh, 46 hours. Still British summer time. Yeah. Wessex, October 2018. Dorchester and Weymouth. More to follow. Well, I'm 50 miles in. Did I say MB8 or MB9? It's definitely MB9. Uh, this is Sedgemoor South. There's a little bit of rain over Avonmouth, not a great deal. Um, there's no breeze here. Anyway, um, toilet, cappuccino, internet, uh, LinkedIn, Reddit, various other things. Just remembered, I don't have any Windows code or hardware. Uh, practically everything else, including Fire OS. No, it's not Fire OS. Kindle OS. It's not a Kindle Fire. Anyway, I need to get on with it. Well, that was a bit of a journey. Mist, fog, lots of fog. Drizzle, light rain. Average rain, I'd say. Put together. Whew. Anyway, Google Square. I'm parked there. Uh, there's the station sign. Oh, no, there's the station sign as well. So I'll go that way and have some, well, there's a Costa coffee. Time, oh, hang on, 20 past six. Lost a lot of time. Mind you, slow internet should have tethered. So, okay. 100 yards down there, left hand side with that guy standing, Premier in. Costa Coffee. The station. Station booking office. That's how good it is. There's a breeze, there's a hint of damp in the air, and I need coffee and bacon. Well, seven minutes before it opens. DHL. This is the post office. Yeah. And it's still rather foggy, doesn't it? So I started off with the water and ice and fruit, which was diet, specifically Strathmore diet water. And now the bar is open, and I've got my 50p voucher out, and this is a thing called. Branock, B-R-A-N-O-C, 3.8% alcohol by volume from Bramston Vale Brewery. I think this is a new one. Mm, it's a bit cold. Mm. Oh, malty, sweet, caramelly. And a bit of lemon in the finish. And, uh, I'll come back when it's warmed up a bit. So it's warmed up a bit now. Um, I'd say it's a little bit unbalanced, um, but it's a nice fruity finish. Um, Multi start. There's nothing wrong with it, and it's different, and I would probably drink it again. So I'm going to give it a B plus. There you go. Ooh, uh, a bit of carpet for Mr. Manning, because he likes them. So this is one of Spoon's national can selections. I think I've had it before, um, but not actually in a can. I think it was one of the... Um, brewed in the UK to a US recipe sort of things. Okay, so this is low res by six point. Um, Weatherspoons have a quite a good history of importing their stuff and their beers have been really good. 
and Bengali, before that Bengali Tiger and resin and such like. This is low res, 5% alcohol by volume. I warmed it up a bit because the fridge is temperatured for lagers. Okay. Oh, it's very resinous. Pine. Very nice. Very hoppy. Bitter. Resinous. Piney. Long, bitter finish. It's a B. Um, and I think I'll have it again. Checked at the bar. You can have a curry here from 8 o'clock in the morning. Can't argue with that. Okie dokie, um, chicken jar frazy, minus pop doms, side order of chips, side order of barges, um, Warhorse by White Horse Brewery, 4.9 set alcohol by volume, Diet Sarsons, uh, Mango Chutney, the pint, I've had this before, Ooh, it's a bit cold, let's not get any spillage. Mm. Well, I think that's in better days. Very sweet, very malty. Ooh, no, misses. Four, I think now. Portsmouth, here, Cardiff, and Gloucester. A quick one, because it's one o'clock, and then check in. Plan going well. Oh, I'm a bit sleepy though. <laughs> Middle of the night. I like a glass that shows signs of wear. Because I show signs of wear. Anyway, yeah, this is real wood. Mr. Manning, it's real wood. Anyway, this is Maiden Castle. Brewed on site in the brew house and kitchen, Dorchester. 4.3% alcohol by volume. It has settled. Mm, smells malty. Tastes like a stout actually. There's coffee and burnt notes. Mm, it's pleasant. Be pleasant a bit. You say American red or American amber ale. Anyway, it's neither. That's a stout, porter, <laughs> new. Oh. Let's not try and get run over. <laughs> There's something happening here today, quite apart, from, quite, quite apart from the fact that it's October and it's rather humid. I've checked in and I have seen three people. Men wearing sandals with socks. This is not good. This can't be any good. Anyway, to make up for that, I need some fine nails. This place will sort me out. Where I come from, we either go left to right or top to bottom, or top to bottom and left to right. So, Top left, Roadrunner, 3.8 per cent by Mowgli. One pain ale with hot forward citrus notes. And for Mr. Manning, a really solid floor. And that's really good. Okay. Um? I won't quite go as far as hop forward. Um, it is hoppy. It's a bit. I'm not getting any citrus either. The hop bitterness is a bit flat. I think it'd be plus. 
please do not disturb the termites. Quite rightly. Termites are heroes. When the pump clip has a gorilla in a spacesuit, you know we have some serious brewing thinking. This is subnatural IPA from New Bristol Brewing. 4.8% alcohol by volume. I'm reading this out. This is hazy. Yeah, it's a hazy. Session IPA hips. Okay, there are hips of citra, um, amarillo hops, and then dry hopped. Okay. Really hoppy aroma. Mmm. I would say hoppy, fruity, tropical. That's really good. That's a B plus plus. And just goes to show wear a spacesuit. Going dark. And because of Toyota Fest and such like, this is Uncle Dunkle. Dunkle. Uncle Dunkle, I suppose. This is from Brightside. It says 5%. Dark cask lager from malted milk biscuit fans. I was sold straight away. Mmm, very malty. I don't know about malted milk, but your average lager person would just throw that out. I quite like it. B plus in a bit. I'm still at heart a bit old fashioned. I like Miles. And this is from a brewery called Tipsy Angel. Tipsy Angel. This is Angel Angel's Mild, 3.8%, which is mild territory. Traditional, tasty, dark mild. A last for today, I think. <sighs> for someone who gets up at half past midnight, I'm flagging a bit now. Plus, I have to render the video. Mm. Actually, that's quite malty. It's not far off the um, Uncle Dunkle. There are burnt out somewhere. Yep, that's tasty. Be pleasant a bit.